It is time to get moving in the Mountain West Conference. Boise State coming off two tough losses, looking to rebound tonight against UNLV, which is coming off two consecutive wins. Bakke John for UNLV. We are underway. The first of two between UNLV and Boise State. They're going to be afraid to run it under five and get a good look, and that's going to be important that they don't run shots tonight. Mm, Alston is so smooth. He's lanky, and that's his first bucket of the night. Hamilton, spin move, goes to the corner for Grill for three. It's good. Uh, that's, that's what... Alston, he's left open, 17-footer. That's the one he made before. How do you leave him that open? There. That's the fourth offensive rebound for UNLV. Grill for three. He's got it, his second one. And that's the best time to knock a three down. Oh. Thrown into the fire. Grill again for three. That's number three. And it's a five-point lead. Okay, Caleb Grill. And Shaver, bounce pass to Wilner, and Wilner's fouled going up. Second free throw, Boise State as a team. There is no one in a white jersey putting a body on any of the UNLV players. Yeah, that works out for another bucket and a timeout call by Boise State. Alston. Rice got his man to move, and he got a wide open three-pointer. That is a beautiful start. Shooters gotta shoot. <laughs> <laughs> and they normally do. <laughs> As Blake cuts to the basket, that's an athletic move by the freshman. They caught off the screen from Armouche. He'll watch the three. That's good. And you go underneath that screen, and that is the perfect opportunity to knock it down. Up of, with, and, and underneath. If the person was not a threat, you go under. But if we. All about their defense. They said their defense needs to be better. Jenkins for three, and that's his second three of the night. All right, now UNLV spreading the floor. Yeah, he's a steady. He's number 10. Dutrieve's runner high off the glass, no good. Armouche with the put back, it's good. That's a nice job in the offense, yep. and they're going to call it. Alston for three, and he doesn't get the roll. Armouche with the offensive rebound and the put back. Armouche has been a beast. Shaver off the screen. Nice. That's a really good look. That's and what we call yep. a belly cut. You a center like that that can pass the basketball. Oh, it's even it's even better in a lot of ways. Nice steal here in anticipation. And Acott slams it home. Boise State on top, 23-19. Size advantage, and our Moosh is fouled going up. Really incredible, and I think that red shirt here really helped him who is not developed and doesn't know the system. There's over four minutes for UNLV. Tillis slides his way along the baseline. That was athletic. It's Hamilton. Nice job by Hamilton. And Hamilton doesn't get the call, and the foul is going to be against Tillis. Hasn't gotten too gone this past week against South Carolina. Second shot. Said, you're the man, coach. <laughs> coach said, no, you're the man. Hey, Cotton. Wow, great move. Hamilton's got to get going. And Hamilton finally has a bucket. It's a 16-2 run for Boise State. Make it 18-2 as Acott is able to nail another pull-up jumper. Acott, shot clock at 10. A little crossover move, and it's good. Boy, that is a majestic offensive move. That is his spot. He, half, he has 11 in this first half. Grill, he was hot early, and he connects on another three-pointer. That's his third three of this first half. No good, Armouche with the rebound. And a long-range three is good. Marcus Shaver connects. C State. Alston inside, Kijab got position deep against Tillis. Yeah, that was a beautiful pass, too. That's not an easy thing for a freshman to do. No, you're going to make mistakes like that. Kijab for three, it's good. Nothing but net. How about him? He's been in front. It's left. Jenkins fade away, jumper is good. And a foul. Bryce Hamilton was quiet in the first half, only two points. 
And he's got the basketball. Baseline jumper. And in and out. And then back in again. To be a little hampered with the ankle doesn't help matters. That's for sure. Ankle support there. Second free throw for Alston is... Shaver again. Stutter step. May have gotten away with a travel. Key jab for three. And it's good. It's been in double digits. Hamilton. Grill for three. He got it going early in the first half, and he gets it going there. Grills? You want to be looking for a stop. Shaver gives up the basketball. Dennis for three, and he answers. Tried to get some separation from Alston, and he does. That was pretty. That was the, the perfect create space. As he stayed 46% from beyond the arc, 40 is the magic number as Grill fouls Alston. Alston back to the free throw line. He's 3 of 4. Second free throw is good. The lead. Jenkins pull up jumper is good. That's pretty smooth. Working against Acott. Jenkins good. First step. Pull up jumper is good. Rattles it home. All right, so they called the foul on the floor. Armouche still gets the bucket. So he nice screen. Dutrieve, step back three, wide open, and he banked it home. Two telegraph <laughs> passes. That's a good pass from Jenkins, and it's a three. Uh, that's a Dutrieve, right side of the lane, keeps his pivot foot, count the bucket. Now that was pretty when he's up there screening and his guards are Acott separation fast pass to Milner off the glass it's good that is a great look for UNLV running Rebels down by 16 good backdoor look and Hamilton finishes now that's the witness oh. elbow jumper is good And give credit to Boise State's defense. They are making it difficult. And Dutrieve, a little step back 17 footer. Dutrieve has eight off the bench. Hamilton slices through the defense, doesn't get the roll. And that's going to be goaltending against Kijab, I believe. Five teams were going to the NCAA tournament. In years, he said he and the his family and the few family uh, were like family running down below no points in a little more than three minutes hamilton trying to end that turn around fade away jumper is good he does end it he's got a field goal really and moses wood with the rebound he got bumped a lot hamilton stopping three it's good 15 points for hamilton hamilton along the sidelines got his man off his feet step to the right three it's good now he's starting to feel it. He has 18 points. He leads all scores. The lead is 12 for Boise State. And it's a ball. But he's had to go through with that ankle, according to T.J. Otzelberger. Armouche underneath. Armouche gets the bounce off the rim of the backboard. He's one of his voices of the group. Hamilton off the inbounds, and he has a fadeaway three. That was difficult. Yeah, that Alston. Shaver for three, it's good. Slipped off the side of the rim and went down at 75-61. And it's in here. Hamilton in the paint, fade away from the free throw line is good. Over the top of Kijab. Now he's just making ridiculous he shots. He sure is. <laughs> well, they need a stop here. They didn't get the stop because Acott knifed right past the defense and threw it. 15 seconds left. Hamilton for three. It's good. He's had a magical second half. 24 points in the second half. 26 overall. Wow. I'm just patting those stats right now. Mm -hmm. And that'll do it. Boise State will win game one of this doubleheader. 78 to 66. And Leon Rice will pick up career win number 213 for the Broncos. He ties Bobby Dye for the most in program history ends by picking up the victory the 15th overall the broncos also move into a tie with colorado state and are a half game behind utah state and don't forget
after the game against UNLV, they have Utah State next week. This yeah. is a big win for Boise Tremendous State. Tremendous win. You win the games at home, right? And they did yep. a great job th there tonight. 8 0 at home for Julian Viani and our entire crew. I'm Tom McCarthy. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24 hour home of CBS Sports. Boise State wins, they rebound. Now let's send it to our New York studios for Inside College Basketball.